It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Jacksonville Jaguars. All that and more coming up next. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and you get a look inside a hot and humid Everbank Stadium here in the city of Jacksonville. Coming up, a rematch of last year's AFC Divisional Round matchup, as it'll be the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here are getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, and Denver. And then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. about ready to get us started and off we go from Jacksonville taken at the goal line and he returns this to the 22 so here come the defending champs led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes there's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season Super Bowl trophy check MVP award check league leader in yards and touchdowns check how does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. He finds his man, Sky Moore. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low almost get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole on play action it's Mahomes man open that's Marquez Valdez Scantling and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 nice play for Kansas City picking up the first 18 yards that time No score after one on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This one is caught. It's Moore. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Yep. On first down, Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. 
They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well, just about an ideal start to this one offensively because on the road, you want to make sure you quiet the home crowd early. And how do they do it? Nice march to start things off, let the run game find its footing early. That drive certainly checked a lot of boxes, and they finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Well, the Jaguars ready to go on offense for the first time. And they're led by the former number one pick in the draft in his third season now, Charles, Trevor Lawrence. Last year, we got the Trevor Lawrence and so many tabbed to be the savior of the Jaguars. He broke 4,000 yards for the first time and threw 25 touchdown passes and guided his team to the playoffs. This young man, he's been good since the first time he picked up a ball in youth league. They expect nothing less from him again this season. And just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We got a strong first half out of the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Second half starts with a run by Etienne. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now second and seven from the 23. Now Lawrence to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And Kirk is going to have the Jaguars first down as he'll get this up across the 30-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Legereus Sneed. And the 
Chiefs are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, 